we are given a geometric series which goes 5, 15, 45 and there's 20 terms and they want us to write this in sigma notation. So if you are ever asked to write something in sigma, in sigma notation, what you do is the following. You put the sigma notation symbol, then you need some type of letter at the bottom equal to 1. You'll always use 1 when you are being asked to do this. So I would typically just go with K for example and then at the top here you can say that they, they said there's 20 so you can just put a 20 over here and then all that goes here is TN so we need to go find TN so they tell us that it's geometric so we can see that the terms are 5, 15, 45 so it's definitely geometric and so to work that out, you'd say Tn is equal to, now um, A is your first term, which is 5. Now R is the ratio, so you're multiplying by 3. Can you see that? You're going from 5 to 15 to 45, so you're multiplying by 3. And then you would normally just say N minus 1. But now when you put it into here, you're going to say 5, 3. But now instead of saying N, you're going to say K, so that these two numbers always match up. You could have used another letter, you could have used R or P or now number two says calculate the value of X. Well X is equal to 5 plus 15 plus 45 up to 20 terms. So X is the sum of 20 terms. Uh, let me say here 20 terms. So X will be the sum of all of that. So we know that it's geometric so we can simply use the sum formula of a geometric sequence and so the sum of 20 terms is equal to a which is 5 the ratio is 3 20 terms over 3 minus 1 and if we had to go work this out we should get a huge number 8 7 1 6 9 8 7 1 6 9 6 1 0 0 0 and so x is equal to that.